How's it people? It's 8am Tuesday morning, beautiful day in the Black Down Hills here. Nice and misty this morning, um, I think once the, once the mist clears off it's going to be a beautiful day. Had George and Tony Busby come around yesterday, they own and run Busby's Reclamation just outside Ilminster. Really great guys, do architectural salvage, so um, we buy a lot of uh, reclaimed slate, uh, fireplaces, hearths, timber, the old oak Tudor arch from the toll house that went in the sitting room, that came from them. Um, they came to have a look at the, some doors we had and just generally have a bit of a nosy, George's a bit nosy like that. But uh, yeah, great guys, check them out. What I will do when we go to start buying stuff, I will, um, I'll probably do like a, a full video on them because it's interesting little setup they've got there. Uh, what have we got on today? Wayne's still on the relentless task of raking out. You can hear in the background. Doing really well with it. He's had, I don't know, it's like three or four solid days. Um, I'd probably lose the will to live after about four hours of it, but he's pretty good. He'll just uh, soldier on through it and he can see the bigger picture. He knows that sometimes you've got to do the crap and uh, it means that he'll probably get the plastering contract for the whole house. Did some really nice work at the toll house, my last project. Um, did some really nice detail on the lots of curved corners in there. Nice bit of detail on the skirting. Um, that's that's kind of what we're about, what we do. It's, it's the fine tuning and the, it's a small bits of attention to detail. So you walk in and you wouldn't immediately notice it but it's all those, all those little details is what adds up to give it the wow factor. So also got a meeting at one o'clock. Um, Catherine Baker's coming out, as I've said before. She's uh, part of the team. You can see a little biography on her on the website. She's, yeah, coming out about one, I think. Uh, what we're trying to set up is so she comes out once a week, keeps an eye on what I'm doing, makes sure I don't do the typical male thing and just clear and cut everything. Oops. Um, no, she's great. It's good just to have that communication between the two of us, um, keeping her on top. So looking forward to that. So on top gear, they have the Stig. Here, We've got the trig. Someone once told me he's a human being. He's not. Half man, half machine. Ladies, I know what you're thinking. Yes, he's available. Um, no, seriously, great guy. Doing really well, banging the hours in, uh, putting the effort in, got the enthusiasm, got the motivation. That's what it's about, really. Working with me, if you haven't got that, you'll go absolutely mad. Um, if you've got a little bit of insanity going on, definitely helps. Speak soon. Wednesday morning, um, got Wayne's been doing really well with the raking out. Now I've got him here, I kind of want to keep him here, so we're just going to crack on with the pointing. Uh, really fortunate here. I live, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away from um, Lime Base, who's a local expert in all things lime, so I uh, be shooting off there. Hi, my name's Joe. Uh, welcome to Lime Base. Uh, we produce uh, traditional lime mortars. We sell sand, hydraulic limes for the restoration and conservation of old buildings and a certain amount of new build. Hi. Great to catch up with Joe. Really good guy. Super, super knowledgeable. Uh, the thing I like about him and what they do is you can go in there tell them the project you're doing, what sort of stone you got. Um, so he wanted to know questions like the, the size of the joints, because it's flint, it's reasonably big joints. So he set us up with a CWS1 sand. Ooh, see it there? Really, really coarse sand. Um, you can buy coarse sand from the, the bigger sort of uh, builders, merchants. Problem is you don't normally get the consistency with this, because they're a small outfit, you get you get consistent product every time, so then all your pointing or rendering or whatever matches in. 
He's also set us up with a uh, hydraulic hydraulic lime uh, 3.5. I think that's a Portuguese one. Um, there's a few options, and this one is kind of uh, he described it as a kind of muckier. I think he said was the word sort of finish um, rather than too too bright. There was options for kind of blended sands and stuff as well, but I just wanted to keep stuff simple. So um, yeah, we'll get cracking on with that. Wayne, we're just starting a line point in here at George's house. Basically what we're doing is we've raked out all the old mortar that was sand and cement and bits of lime, bits of this, bits of that in it. Um, we've raked it all out. What we do then is we wet it down in the joints. We're using a three in one mix of three uh, coarse sand to one lime. Um, basically just filling all the joints in, making it look better. At the end of the day, we scratch it all back using the back of a trowel. Then we basically just brush it over and make it look pretty and old and good. Morning all, it's Saturday morning. Uh, nice early start today. Trick decided he wanted to start at 6am again, so I thought I'd just well join the party. Uh, what I've been up to, just loads and loads going on. Pretty much there with the tree work now. All the big stuff's down. Still a little bit of fine tuning, but um, all the big smoky fires are pretty much there, which is uh, it's a big box tick to be, eh, ticked, to be honest. Um, you see down here, all down the roadside, we've had a good clean up there, which is making a massive difference. Start having to play about and um, start refurbing the, the little footbridge we've got. Uh, quite a bit of groundwork going into that. Gonna have to do some, setting some concrete and stuff. Uh, lime, lime pointing, guys are flying along with that. Doing really, really good, it's quite a big, laborious job but um yeah they're keen bashing through it um what else totally separate note we've got and if you can see just down there all the pretty flowers come up so yeah who doesn't like a pretty flower um as always thanks very much for watching really appreciate all the feedback i'm getting and keep subscribing on youtube and keep sharing speak soon cheers bye